Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to I think this is the second not third vlog of this year. I hope 2024 is treating you guys nicely. I can't complain much though nannies never came back. Mine <laughs> told me she's coming in February 20th and I was like sort of give yourself time but at the same time it's considerate to try and find out or like ask me what are you going to do till then are you going to get someone to help and then when I come back uh, we can continue you know as in it's like me going and telling my boss yo um, I'm not gonna come back I'm not going going to come to work for the next two weeks and like I don't even care what is happening basically I just I just tell you you're not gonna come so yeah I decided to get um, a new one and you know how disorienting that is for and then unfortunately the one I got is a bit young needs a lot of training um, a lot of patience just basically a lot of everything so I don't know. I really, really don't know. This nanny issue is a nuisance, to be honest. Ella is almost, but even if Ella goes back to school, it's still I still need someone in the house. So, ugh. but anyway, um, hopefully this one catches up real fast. Yeah. Um, Oh, I also need to go make my hair today. Sorry. Not make my hair, make my nails. I mean, get basement, so there's no lights. So, I finally managed to go and get my nails done. I went back to my old nail tech and I decided to do something different this time. I went for a nude color. I rarely do nude colors, so yeah, I like the way they look. So, I think I'm going to try more of this. So you guys remember the nanny that I spoke of the last time we talked? <laughs> the young one that needed a lot of training and a lot of um, patience. Well, I let her go um, on 1st of uh, Feb because she wasn't really catching up the way I wanted her to. Plus um i don't know i also realized she was married she's very young she's 21 but she was married so i figured that the boyfriend called her back so she also requested to go and because my i had already decided in my head to let her go i figured there's no need for me to um hold on to her but yeah she was married hmm. who knew 21 years married 21 oh anyway yeah so i let her go because she just wasn't retaining stuff like you teach her something today and then whatever you taught her the day before she forgets that and then now she uh remembers this one and then now when you remind her of the other thing that you taught her the last time she she forgets this one and then now she remembers that one and I feel like it was too much because now my head had to constantly be in the house also as much as I'm at work I have to think of what is happening at home I have to just like remind her to like do some things and I felt like it was too much so yeah I when she said she wanted to go I gladly let her go so yeah yeah now I am moneyless and I think it's going to take a toll on me somehow because I feel like it's a lot not having someone in the house. Yeah, so my current, not even my current one, the one that I had last year called me yesterday and told me that she's willing to come back. Actually, it's not even her who I spoke to, it's the sister. So she was like, if you want this girl back, um, we are demanding for a 50% raise. So I'm like, huh, can we like discuss it? And she was like, no, we're not discussing anything. If you want her back, 
like 50% raise so I'm like and you know funny thing we had already decided on how much I'm going to add um, on top of her last salary so since we had really agreed I still I wasn't like understanding why she felt like she needed first of all to have someone else to speak for her and secondly to bulldoze me into doing what either her or the sister wants is it necessary but anyway so um i don't feel very comfortable someone demanding something from me without giving um without giving us at least you know as in let's discuss it what makes you think i am very comfortable or not comfortable giving you a 50 percent raise you know as in we are all adults we are all helping each other because when you come to my place of course i'm going to pay you you're not doing the job for free and when you come of course you to some extent you also need me because transferring and going to like a new place as much as that new place may promise you more it's a bit difficult to adjust so i'm in need of you as much as you're in need of me but someone bulldozing me into giving you what you want just because i might need you more makes me feel like i've lost control and that is not like the best feeling so i think i'm going to look for someone else i've actually already started um i was expecting to get uh maybe this weekend but i don't see it happening so yeah I think I'm going to start looking for another one because I feel like that is very unreasonable. Coming from an adult, yes, you're good, but you I'm sure you're not the only good person in this whole entire world. So I think I'm willing to take my chances. Yeah. So that is a quick update. So I have a few things that I need to do in the kitchen and clean up a bit. So let's go. So I did a lot of laundry earlier and finished and now I want to wash my um, machine with some baking soda and some vinegar. I read somewhere that just because you're using the tabs, the washing machine tabs to clean your machine doesn't necessarily mean that it does the job um, perfectly. So I've decided a lot to try and do the vinegar and the baking soda. So I've put the baking soda in the tub and then I've also added some detergent in the detergent dispenser and I've added the vinegar in the um, softener dispenser because I also read that if you mix vinegar and baking soda they more or less cancel each other. So that's why I've put the vinegar in the softener dispenser and then the, um, uh, the baking soda alone um, in the tub. So I'm going to wrap the tub clean. I'm, I'm going to run rather the tub clean program uh, sadly it's not going to uh, use hot water because rarely does that program use hot water so I'm just going to run the tub clean and use that so this is how it's going currently it kind of scared me at first but i think i put in a little bit uh a bit more baking soda than i should have plus the detergent so this is what happens but so far so good so in the meantime i've decided to make some onions i want to um karanga them and then put them in a jar so that anytime i want to make sandwiches i just need to scoop a little from the fridge instead of actually having to um fry them so yeah 
I didn't show you what I did, but generally it's like just frying um onions. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to use part of this to cook and then some of it I'm going to put in a jar. I also want to make some pickled cucumbers again for the same purpose for sandwiches. So let me first uh put this in a jar and then I can start um making the cucumbers. So I also want to make pickled cucumbers and I'm going to put them here and then put them in the fridge. So what I'm going to start with is the vinegar and water and salt mixture. So let's start with the salt. I think I'm just going to put maybe, I guess a spoon and a half so that I don't um I don't I just make sure I haven't put a lot because this is my first time trying this. So I don't want to go wrong. I'd rather play safe than go wrong. So um the measurements of vinegar and water is 50-50. So I'm going to use this glass to measure. So basically this is just a whole glass. And I'm going to add my water. That's a 50-50 ratio I still have a lot of vinegar so this bottle is definitely still being used I'm just going to uh, put some from I think this vinegar I've stayed with it for like five or six not even five or six months I think seven or eight months by the time it gets to March it, it's going to be a year so it makes sense buying in bulk because then you forget about buying vinegar for like a whole year again depending on uh your music so this is the mixture and these are my cucumbers i'm going to wash them and slice them up I'm going to use the I'm going to leave the skin on and slice them as thin as I okay not as thin because I also want to be able to like pick them up from the container Yeah, so our mixture is good and ready. So I guess you just drop them inside and maybe leave them for like 24 hours or something. I actually can't remember, but basically since I don't think I'm not oh magic coming, I don't think I need it like soon. So I'm just going to like, okay, okay, seems like I made a lot more mixture than I needed to. 
So let's see if this is going to be enough. If I had another container like this one, I would have um, made like a second batch because I still have more cucumbers. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hmm, seems like my cucumbers are more than what the container can hold or not. Probably going to take out more water just to plus I'm still getting my measurements so I think next time what I'm going to do is um, I've used a full glass so next time I think I'm going to use um, half of, of this glass but now water and then the other half vinegar because I really there's just a couple of pieces left I'm just going to stuff all of them in because I know it's going to fit yeah actually that's it so I'll add with my spoon and my spoon So I'm just going to pop up a bit of the mixture so that I make sure the little cucumbers are sort of covered and then voila we are done so I think I'm going to have some of it so I can still have some more to spill because I can see some of the cucumber is not fully immersed in the mixture I think that's fine. Yes, yes, the rubber thing is going to help with any food. We are done. My pickled cucumbers are ready. Okay, let's see the ready. They are. Yeah, so that's it. I'll tell you guys if it is a hit or a mess. So I've decided to do a bit of cleaning kidogo because my bedroom is a mess as you can see. Uh, yeah, as I listen to some music as usual. So let's get cleaning.
so this is us every time i am vacuuming ella has to want to vacuum she can't vacuum but she insists it's just it's usually just a whole story So this is where we ended up um, finishing our cleaning session because Ella decided to stick around and she just wanted to do everything basically so I danganyad her, she went to her dad and I finished cleaning off camera. I also wanted to show you guys what I've started buying in terms of skincare so I got these two uh, lip glosses from New Level, uh, Sneaky Link and Thick, I think and I also added the foundations remember the foundations my very very fave foundations I shipped these ones from uh, Amazon and they came in I think two weeks ago so yeah um, I'm going to keep on adding them slowly <laughs> 